It's Transformers 96 here with another review, this time of the Hot Toys Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, the famous founder and leader of the Cobra unit, the boss. So there you go. So this figure was given to me to review by a fantastic toy store, Toy Anxiety. They're great for all your 1 6 scale needs. Hot Toys Sideshow, they have it. Go check them out, ToyAnxiety.com. The link will be in the description. They part out figures, so if you're looking for just a piece or two, they've got it as well. If you're ever in Arizona, definitely go check out their toy store. So here you go. So let's uh, let's get her out of the box and see how she is. Here she is out of the package. But before we go into the figure, let's go over her accessories. She of course comes with a standard Hot Toys base. As you can see here, it says Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. A little nameplate that says Boss, as well as an adjustable cradle. Overall, extremely nice. Nothing too different, but uh, definitely a nice base. The boss comes with six hands, three for the right, three for the left, and as you can see they look pretty nice. You get two fisted hands for both sides, uh, one a relaxed hand that can be hold, uh, that can hold the handle for the crates, then another hand that's just got a little opening, good for uh, holding the knife, another hand that's more of a trigger, and another trigger hand. As you can see they're pretty cool. There are just gloved hands and the wrinkles on the sides look nice and everything. Nothing too special in here, but overall they look cool. Let's see if we can focus. There you go. You can see uh, the writing on there. As you can see, they're pretty nice. Unfortunately, though, uh, it does hinder ankle articulation uh, completely because, you know, all, really all they can do is swivel because there's obviously no ankle joint. But as you can see, they do look pretty nice. And you get a, definitely a nice amount of them. Nothing, uh, you don't get a huge amount, but you definitely get uh, what you need. She also comes with the sheath and knife. As you can see, you can put the uh, the knife in the sheath. As far as just going over the sheath, wonderful uh, detail. Love the uh, the leather like look and the stitching on the side. Really, all, a lot of you know work went into this. Just one little piece, which is really quite nice. The knife can pull out, and as you can see, it's a small blade, but overall it's nicely done and. Uh, the detail is pretty good. So on um, this, on the other side, as you can see, has a uh, a magnet which can uh, attach to her. So let me show you that. As you can see, the magnet does just uh, attach up there. Unfortunately, that is really the only place that it does attach, and it's a little bit like sticking up. Uh, if I remember correctly, in the game, it's more uh, tilted to the side and not just so straight up pointing. Overall, looks good, but I think that it will kind of hinder if you want to turn her head, uh, you know, left. It'll kind of hit the knife and everything. So I don't think it's the best position they could have put it. But if they tried to put it where it really was in the game, I think the wrinkles would really affect the magnet. So I, I understand why they put it there. Not great, but hey, it works. Of course, you get the Patriot rifle. So uh, she died on her by her own request uh, to Naked Snake to kill her with this weapon. So as you can see, pretty cool. I really do. Uh, the detail's nice. I mean, it's really just all black because it's from a video game. You know, there wouldn't be a uh, real kind of you know real look to it But it does look very nice. It does have this ammo pack, which is uh, removable and there you go. It can just slide right out. Overall, it's very nice, and she can hold it pretty well. Here's the long uh, crate that you get. There are these stickers that you can put on the uh, the crate if you'd like to pause and read any of them. You're more than welcome. But you just peel them off, and it shows you where to put them. You can just stick them on. It looks pretty cool. And uh, But as you can see, this one is for holding the, um, the large uh, rocket launcher. As you can see, it does open pretty nicely. I do really like this kind of foam, but it's a very hard foam, so it'll definitely always keep its shape. And uh, you can put, um, put the rocket launcher in there, which is really nice. Uh, just quickly do it. There you go. Unfortunately, though, the handle does stick out. I mean, I'm surprised that they did this, but uh, it doesn't close. And I don't know why they decided to do it that way, just to have it open and stuff, but I would have rather that they made it just a slight bigger and uh, had it actually close, but they didn't. Unfortunately, uh, nothing too bad, but, uh, but it is a shame. But the rocket launcher itself is quite nice, as you can see. You can read this if it... There you go. As you can see, it's very nice. It's got a little back piece and everything. Here's the uh, the trigger with the little red handle, and I do like the handle's uh, texture and everything. It looks very nice. And inside of it, there is this extendable piece, which is put on the rocket, which I'll show you later so that you can uh, kind of uh, stick it in this. So overall, it's extremely cool. Um, like the crate a lot. I think it looks extremely cool, but it just wasn't uh, designed quite quite properly uh, in my opinion would have ra really liked it to close and I'm surprised I didn't but what's nice also about the crate is it does have a functioning uh, handle which is cool and she can hold it which is pretty nice 
Here's a smaller crate. As you can see, it's pretty nice. Good detail. Like I said, you can put some stickers on this if you would like. And it does have a nice functioning handle, which is cool. This does uh, open. And then the sides open, which I think is pretty nice. And then you get this. It's a little cage that's uh, kind of built around to keep the missile, you know, there, uh, not, uh, not damaging anything. Really like the design of uh, this. As you can see on the inside of the crate, there's a... Uh, there's a nice place just to hang it up, which is cool. And this time it does close, which is nice, with the weapon inside. So as you can see, if you'd like to read this, there you go. Overall, extremely cool. Really do like the burgundy color of it with the yellow stripe. There's also another kind of warning label on here. Very nice. Overall, looks extremely cool. Um, the missile, of course, the, what's in the missile is... Uh, the little silver uh, kind of stock of it and you can just plug it in and then uh, just put it into the uh, the rocket launcher and then have the rocket launcher have this huge missile on the end it's pretty cool I do like that you can do that I do like that when you have the missile inside the crate it does close and the crate opens really well really nicely I think it looks awesome overall really think that that was well designed and uh, looks great the boss also comes with a black robe. As you can see, it's pretty nice. Um, at first glance, and if it's not in proper lighting, it does look just plain black, and there's no kind of design in it or anything. And, uh, you know, when I saw a bit of the game where she had this on, I was just like, well, that looks like it has a, you know, some nice design in it. But when I got it really close, you can see the design, and if you have it in uh, good lighting, you can see the design there in the... Uh and it, it looks very nice. I like all the stitching work and everything. It looks good. It's almost like a poncho, though, just the way that it hangs and everything. I do like the hood. It, it folds up really nicely. And if you like to fold it over her head, you can kind of do that. But it's just, like, huge. So uh, so the only proper way is to have it folded back. Overall, it doesn't look great. I mean, it looks, it looks pretty accurate to the game, I'd have to say. Uh, but there's no way anybody would display her like this. It just covers up all the detail all the uh, the niceness of the body and everything and just it makes it quite plain so it's a nice accessory for her to come with but nobody's gonna ever use it or need it so in that sense it was a little bit of a waste but overall it does look pretty nice and pretty accurate to the game so now to go over the actual figure as you can see as far as the face it's detailed extremely nicely I mean uh, really there's no issues at all even the little hairs hanging down on her face they're painted extremely well when that could have easily been a uh, quite sloppy job but overall it was done well everything looks very nice and I do like the way the hair kind of flows and it does look uh, it does look pretty realistic in the game of course she has like a more flatter look not so uh, not so realistic uh, but overall this looks really nice I do like it um, and the joint of course is on the upper neck and not the lower for obvious reasons overall the face sculpt's pretty nice um, so yes I do like that so now let's go down further so now down onto the body, as you can see, pretty nice. Um, this is a functioning zipper, which is really cool. If you wanted to, you could zip it all up, and there is a way to, uh, you know, actually uh, attach these straps so that it's, you know, when she's full costume. But then you can also zip it down. I think this is a lot more interesting look, and it's it's cooler, especially with the scar. So I do really like that. The scar is uh, when she was she was commanding on a battlefield and had to uh, give birth on the battlefield, which left a snake-like scar there, um, and she gave birth. To to revolver ocelot, ocelot, you know, something like that. But as you can see, it looks pretty cool. The detail in the body is very nice. And what's interesting is she does have a, you know, kind of like a ball joint here. This is actually rubber, which is pretty cool. Um, I, I do like that they decided to do the rubber. Gives it a really, uh, really natural and, you know, look, which is really nice. Overall, you know, it does say not to get any sharp objects or alcohol, because, you know, I know everybody just likes to pour alcohols on their hot toys, but, um, but you know, just, just to be safe, it says it. So, overall, that's pretty cool. As far as the straps, I think they're done extremely well. They all are posable, so you can pose all the straps, which is really wonderful really love that really like it a lot there are just a bunch of uh, you know straps and harnesses just throughout it and the, there's this very bright silver you know glossy shiny uh, uh, you know costume here it reminds me a lot of uh, the space suits from Austin Power but as you can see it looks pretty cool you got a little little emblem there as you can see very nice and um, on the back it's pretty cool. The straps go around, and of course there are uh, this, and these are real straps. They're not. These are real, um, kind of like a, you know, like a strings. They're not. They're not molded on there, which is pretty nice. Overall detail is quite nice. So now let's go down a little bit. 
As you can see, she does have a removable kind of green belt. This can, you can hook the Patriot to that belt as well. And as you go down, you get more of that silver, uh, silver type of, um, material. And she does have, like, a little knee pad here. Overall, pretty nice. Nicely designed. I noticed in the game that the, the lines in the, in the suit here are a lot more prevalent. You can see them a lot. And I didn't even notice that there were lines in this costume until, you know, I really got up close. Because I noticed there was a lot of design in her pants, but not in the toy. So so overall, I wish that they could make those a little bit more prevalent and not so hidden uh, because, you know, it's quite, not quite accurate to the game being so hidden. But overall, it does look nice. Now let's go down. She does, of course, have uh, the white boots. As you can see, they look cool. Really do like the stitching work uh, that was done. Of course, this is molded in stitching work. It's not uh, actual. But overall, it's cool. Of course, it does hinder articulation a lot um, because there's no ankle. So unfortunately, the only thing that these boots can do is swivel. So not great. Articulation with her is quite hindered in a lot of places just because of the design of her suit. She does have some nice waist articulation, uh, which is good. But other than that, she's she's hindered a lot. But she does have a nice range of movement for what uh, for what her costume allows her to have. Overall, very nice. So here's the uh, boss figure compared to a couple other Hot Toys figures, the Captain America and Scarecrow. They are all they're all standing on a base, uh, and they all have the same base. So uh, so the size is pretty much the same. As you can see, um, quite short. I mean, Captain America is a uh, very tall figure, so don't think that uh, that he's the example here. More of Scarecrow. Scarecrow's more of just a normal size uh, Hot Toys figure. And as you can see, she's about an inch shorter than him. Maybe inch and a half, almost. I mean, the, the difference is quite large. I know that she's a, a woman character, so she would probably be shorter. I'm not quite sure what the scale is here, uh, if this is uh, completely accurate. I have to assume that it's accurate, but she's quite a small figure, which is interesting. Um, but overall, it could be completely accurate, though. But there she is uh, compared to Scarecrow and the Captain himself. So overall, that's my review of the Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, the boss figure. As you can see, she is pretty cool. Um, there are a lot of nice things going for her, and a couple things that weren't great, but overall, I do highly recommend her to, uh, to big fans of uh, the Metal Gear Solid uh, game and line of uh, games. Overall, extremely cool. She is, of course, the mentor of the Naked Snake. You gotta get her. Nice detail. I do like the rubber body. Surprised they did that, but happy they did that, because it worked out pretty well. Some nice accessories, and some pretty cool ones as well. Overall, I do recommend her for uh, for fans of the game and fans of the boss especially. So there you go. So like I said, I got this figure from Toy Anxiety, a fantastic toy store. Great for all your 1 6 scale needs. Highly recommend them. If you want to go check them out, the link will be in the description, toyanxiety.com. They part out figures, so you're just looking for a head, you're looking for a foot and hand, a costume. They have it. Go check them out. If you're ever in Arizona, definitely go to uh, their store. So yeah, so overall, this is a pretty nice figure, and uh, thank you for watching my review. Mitch Dance Force 96 here, just want to say thank you for watching my review and to definitely go check out ToyAnxiety.com or if you're ever in Arizona, definitely check out their store. They have loads of toys. I'm talking Marvel, Star Wars, Doctor Who, Transformers, G.I. Joe, Aliens vs. Predators, you name it, they have it. They sell high quality at low prices. Check out ToyAnxiety.com today.